How's it going everybody? So today we're going to be learning how to do prime factorization in JavaScript. Alright, so for step one, I want you to create two variables. The first will be the prime number itself, which we're going to set at 42,069. And the other will be finding the prime factor of 42,069. And I also want you to make a loop that will loop all numbers between zero all the way to 42,069. So good luck. Give yourselves at least 30 minutes to try it on your own. If you can't figure it out, no problem. Then get, go on to the hint. And if you still couldn't figure it out, then go ahead and look at the solution. The hint is going to be look up on the JavaScript documentation how to make variables and loops, specifically for loops. All right, so hopefully you guys gave it a try for at least 30 minutes. And if you couldn't get it, no problem. That's how we learn. That's how we get better. So. First and foremost, let's create two variables. One that's gonna be our prime factor number and the other one that's gonna figure out what our prime factorization number will be. Um, so let's do let num is equal to 42,069 or 42069. Uh, let prime boy is gonna find our prime number. We're gonna set that as two. And we also wanna loop all numbers between zero all the way to num so that would be four let i is equal to zero i is less than or equal to num and i plus plus so if you were to console log i node prime and you can see we're going to get all numbers between zero and forty two thousand sixty nine eventually there we go cool For step two, if num right over here, 42,069, is divisible or modular by prime boy, I want you to divide num by prime boy. Else if it is not, I want you to add one to prime boy each time. And then I want you to console log it and see what you get. But hopefully you guys gave it a try for at least 30 minutes and if you could get it, no problem. But um, so the hint is going to be look up on the JavaScript documentation, how to add, divide, and make if statements in JavaScript. So give yourselves at least 30 minutes after this hint, try it out. If you can't figure it out, then go ahead and look at the solution. So hopefully you guys gave it a try for at least 30 minutes. And if you couldn't get it, no problem. Let's go over the solution right now. So we're going to get rid of this console log and create an if statement. That will say, it says if num modular by prime boy, so if 42069 modular by 2 is even number 0 remainders, uh, we're going to divide 42069 by, by prime boy. So we're just dividing the number so far. So if it does work, we're going to divide the numbers. We're going to divide num by prime boy. Else, add one to prime boy each time. So if we console log this bad boy right here, if we console log prime boy, we should get our final value. Hopefully it works. At 379. Cool. It works. So if you couldn't get it, no problem. Try to find where you lacked and improve on it. But hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out a lot and uh, I want to give you a challenge before the end of the video which is going to be instead of using a for loop use a while loop and try to get the same answer which should be 379 and uh, the answer will be in the description below if you can't figure it out no problem um, that's how you learn how you get better and I did get this challenge off of a medium article so credits to that person I'll also link his medium article in the description below and like comment subscribe and I'll see you on the next one